Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show a very interesting automation to you, which will let you collect the data of the people who are unsubscribing your emailers. That means they are opting out of your email ca marketing campaign. Okay. So you want to save the data of uh, those people also so that you can uh, convert them again and retain them. So here we have taken the example of ConvertKit application for sending the emailers, which is a marketing tool for uh, specifically for content creators. So here as and when any person is going to unsubscribe from your emailers, the data of that person is going to be saved automatically in Airtable's table. Okay, let me show you how this is going to happen. So this will be the flow of this automation here as and when any user is going to unsubscribe from your email. The data of that same person is going to be saved here in a table in a table application automatically. So you need not to check out manually which person is, is opting out from your emails and you need not to manually sort out the data and add it here inside the table here. It is going to happen automatically and that is going to help you a lot in saving your time and manual efforts and as well as it will improve your customer retention as well. Okay. So here we are using Pabli Connect to make this happen, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is you can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge very easily. So let's set up this automation together. So guys, first of all, you need to log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of this application. Okay. And to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so after log, uh, so sign up right now and log in to reach here. Okay. And guys, here you have to create a workflow of automation and to do that, just click on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here as convert kit to a table, a table automation. You can give any suitable name according to yourself. Okay. And after giving the name, just click on this create button and you can see your workflow is getting created here. And on this page, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger or start this workflow. And the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new person unsubscribed from your email. And the action would be to send the data of that same person to the table here in a table application. Okay. So first of all, set up your trigger here, choose your trigger application, which is convert kit in our case. Okay, select it. And in the trigger event, select a uh, new unsubscribe option. Okay, so it will trigger when a subscriber unsubscribe from your emails. Okay, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. And here uh, it is asking for these two things, the API key and the API secret key. So guys, you need to log in into your ConvertKit account and you will find these two things in the account settings. Okay, let me show you. This is my ConvertKit application. And here, uh, this is my profile icon and here are the settings option. Click on settings. All right. And under the settings page, scroll down here and on this bottom left hand side, you will find this advanced tab. Click on advanced. All right. And under this advanced tab, guys, you will find this API key. So just copy this key from here and paste it here like this. And here is the API secret. So click on show and copy the secret key and paste it here like this and then click on save and you will be connected with ConvertKit like this. Okay. Now click on save and send test request and it will start showing waiting for the response. So this means now you have to perform a test submission. Test submission means you have to go to your ConvertKit application and you have to uh, for setting up this automation only you have to manually unsubscribe a person that can be uh, uh, any demo person that you have added and this will act as a test submission. Okay. So I'm going back to my ConvertKit application. Okay. And here I'm going to manually unsubscribe a person. So let's say this is our test person. 
and let me open it okay so this is a, a test person who have subscribed named as Ashirai now I am manually clicking here on unsubscribe button okay so you can see this person got unsubscribed on April 22 2022 okay now let's check in Pabli Connect if we got the data of this person who has just unsubs unsubscribed from our emails and you can see that data got captured here like this it is showing the subscriber state as cancelled this is the email address this is the name and number okay so guys uh, if in real time if uh, someone unsubs unsubscribes from your emails the data is going to be captured like this and now I want to send the same data to Airtable and for that to happen you have to connect Airtable application here in this action step so here select for the Airtable application and the action event select create record option click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it is asking for the token of Airtable key okay so here is my Airtable application this is a table I am using here to add the data and from here from the profile icon I am going to click on uh, account section and under the accounts page you will find the API key right here just open this key copy this key and paste it here in the token field like this and click on save and you will be connected with Airtable as well okay right we are now connected and here it is asking for the base ID and the tables name so guys this is my base name of which is convert kit and the table is the unsubscriber table okay so select your base first this is it and you can see the tables name got selected automatically because we have only one table here okay now it is asking for the name and the email so these are the headers of these columns here in the table so I'm going to map the data that I have received here from ConvertKit and I'm going to map these labels here uh, to send the data. So to map the name just click here and you will see this ConvertKit option in the drop down and by clicking on it you can see all the data that you have received in the first step. So from here only I am going to map the name like this. Okay. For the email use the same process and map the email as well. Okay. Now you can check your connection with ConvertKit by clicking on save and send test request here and a new person will be added here in this third row okay let me show you so this is the response we have received let's check in a table if we got the record added and here you can see a third row is added here with the name Ashira and this email so this was the same person who have unsubscribed from our emails and we got the data here like this so we are done setting up the automation guys so here you can see in the trigger I connected convert kit and fetch the data of a demo or a test person who have unsubscribed and after that I connected a table to map the data of a person who have unsubscribed now guys let me show you uh, you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually after that it will run automatically let me show you a real time example I am going to convert kit again and let's say uh, let's unsubscribe another person manually just to show you the demo how it is going to work so this is another person I have named as Parker Davin so let me unsubscribe okay so this person uh, has not received any emails yet okay and this person has unsubscribed from the list okay let's check in a table application if we got the data of this person added or not and you can see Parker Davin got added here automatically so this is how it is going to work guys and guys the best part is you can use this same workflow that I've created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel